Welcome back to the Techmoto channel, and this series on how to make Jarvis in Python. In this video we will take another step towards making a realistic voice assistant. As our code is getting longer, I have now put exemplar code in a GitHub repository online. You can access this file using the link in the comments. Please do download, or copy and paste the new code into your Jarvis.py file. Let's open our code and take a look. Remember that our comments are in green or gray. These comments are ignored by Python, but are great for us to know what is going on. I have added comments throughout the code, to help you. For this video, you will need speakers and a microphone, plugged into your computer, or the code will fail. The first thing to note is that I have imported two new libraries. Time, is already installed as default in Python. Speech recognition will need to be installed. If you want a reminder, then jump back to video 4 in this series. I have put a link above. Simply go to your command prompt and type pip install speech underscore recognition. Once this library is installed, you can use speech recognition functionality. The next thing you will notice is that I have added some variables. These just set up your microphone and assign my keywords. I have chosen Jarvis, and hey Jarvis, but you can have any keyword you like. You will notice a familiar function from the last video. Our speak function. At this point, I need to show you how to fold code. So that we can be more efficient, it is possible to fold up your code, so that when you do not need it, it is tucked away. All functions allow you to fold the contained code away. Simply click on the arrow to the left of the function name to display and hide the function. The code is still there, but just not in view. So, we are going to start with our main program. We start an infinite while loop, so that our speech recognition is always listening. By saying while 1, the code will continue to cycle through the code below, over, and over, again. Our main program simply calls the function, start recognizer. Let's unfold that function, and see what is inside. The code writes a statement to the screen for the user. It says waiting for a keyword. The code then calls upon another function, called, callback. Let's minimize this function and open the callback function. This piece of code uses a speech recognition system called, Pocket Sphinx. The reason we use Sphinx for this, is that it constantly calls the function, until it hears your keywords. If you used Google speech recognition instead, that many calls would cost you money. Pocket Sphinx is on your computer only, and does not check with Google. If this code recognizes your keyword, it calls another function called, recognize main. If it does not recognize the keyword, the code loops again. Let's minimize this function and open, recognize main. Once we get to this function we are now listening for a specific command. Once we hear that command, you can then put any code in, to turn on lights, open applications, access the browser etc. So in these first few lines, the microphone is turned on again. The code listens to the user, and then assigns their response to a variable called, data. The code then converts the response into all lowercase, and then prints what the user said on the screen. Now you can set an if, a leaf and an else statement to make Jarvis do things for you. Your first statement will be an, if statement. Every statement after this will be an a leaf statement. The last thing to add is an else which captures everything else, and in this instance will be a sorry I did not get that, response. Before Jarvis goes for another loop. You can keep adding phrases here, to your heart's content. This is a great way of making a simple Java spot. At the end we have our accept, which will catch anything that does not work, so the program does not crash. And that is it. Simple isn't it? You can now replace your speak statements, with anything you like. In future videos we will show you new functions for calendars, queue lights, web scraping and many other things that you can call upon. We will also show you in future videos, how to set up multiple trigger words and multiple, random responses, to make Jarvis more lifelike. 
A great function we will cover in future content, will be how to link an Excel spreadsheet to this recognition algorithm, so you can just add phrases to Excel, rather than code them individually. For now though, please do like this video, subscribe to the channel and, hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. Have a great day. See you soon.